hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is where you are. Welcome to the big episodes of My Summer Car, because we're going to build a car today. Well, we're first we're going to, you know, uh, make sure that our we're not thirsty or hungry or tired or stressed out, but now we just need to build the car. We have the wheels, uh, we have all the fluids, we have all the parts we need to make the car run. Um, and it seems the game crashed. up the music going at least so that's something now the music stopped which me hey 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 it loaded yeah oh perfect okay we're very tired but very thirsty very hungry quite some bit of stress so uh, let's solve that first. I just need to check something that I read. Yeah, we lost our sausages. Damn. We need to eat all sausages. That's a tip from the future. Let's, um, drink some water. Um, we'll go have a sleep. It's six o'clock, which means that I don't think we'll be able to build the car very well when it's dark out so we probably want to try and avoid sleeping for as long as possible um, so full fatigue I'm probably gonna wake up at night so what I'm gonna do what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go to sleep and then we're gonna start the sauna when we wake up and all stuff like that um, and that'll probably uh, kill enough time to make the sunrise and we can get started on the car. Oh no. We're gonna be able to help this drunk guy soon. Um, because we'll have the car. So uh, let's do that and let's uh, let's turn the sauna on. Oh, look at that. That's a cozy light. I actually went into... Uh, I was in a sauna just a few days ago during a very nice barbecue. The one I spoke about last episode, probably. It was not an electrical one. It was a wood-burning one. And we didn't have many lights except for, you know, tea lights and, uh, and, the, and the light from wood-burning. It was uh, fantastic. And we, you know, take swims in what I think is cold water. And um, then go back into that very hot sauna. It was a very nice day. I, I uh, would like to do that again. Okay, so stress is going to go down a little bit. Let's uh, take a shower before the sauna, just because I like to see these things go down. We need to kill time anyway before the sauna heats up. And then we'll eat some crisps. And we'll drink some water again. And hopefully things will kind of get back down to low things. It is 2 a.m. So, gonna. There we go. I have I've been dealing with a bit of a headache. It uh, went quite bad last night, but woke up with just remnants of it. And it feels a little bit better now, but I, if I sound sleepy, uh, the reason behind it is that I am sleepy and my head hurts a little. Okay, well, that looks good. Everything looks good. Just waiting for the sauna. Let's see how dark it is out. Like, could we... No, it can't re... The car... Did the car flip itself around again? I think it did, right? 
This is not going to be an issue soon, I hope, because when we get the wheels on the car, it will, uh, it will hopefully stop moving. I wonder if this light, is this controlled from inside the garage? It's probably it. There was something there. It might have also been the door. Oh, there it is. Yeah, but that will rack up a, an incredible electrical bill, and as you know, I am not Mr. Moneybags. But I do wonder if we can, if I, I did throw a bottle in here before. Do get some light from that. But I'm just not going to fix my car with a live fire right next to it, so that's, that's not... Um, <laughs> waiting for stress to drop, and also for the sun to rise, I suppose. Uh huh. Get the dipper. We could also go chop firewood because that was a quite an effective way, and it almost felt like chopping firewood was faster than waiting for the sauna. But that might just be because waiting for the sauna is just waiting, while chopping firewood is. Something you do actively it doesn't feel like it takes as much time. So, um, well, let's just get the bucket in here. Um, I finished Paper Mario. Uh, that I did do. Uh, I like that game. Um, this is just, yeah, I'm the only thing. I, I mentioned this before, is the, the puzzle rings. Even coming up on the end with the the boss fights and all that was like oh I, I was f noticing that I w was getting frustrated uh, by these puzzle rings and it was usually fine it was like okay I failed it but we can still move on but some things at the end had you um, or forced you to be rather precise with like you have to solve this puzzle in this set amount of time or you're screwed. And that, that wasn't fun. That that kind of took away from it a little bit. But all in all, like it, it wasn't something that, oh, I can't get past this. This, this is the end of the game. It was still a um, very good game. Um, but that's like the only thing. Where I'm like, well, if, if that hadn't been in there, if there had been some other system, just normal um, turn-based combat, I would probably have been fine with that. That, that probably would have been better. Um, but then again, I'm an old and angry man, so... I want, I want things to be the way they were. Also, this is very cozy with this sauna light on. I, I, I very much like this. Even the water looks good, and that's... That barely happens, right? Come on. So... I have 12 pages of a uh, manual I have modified from, from the internet because at some point I realized that I'm not going to be able to build this car on my own. So I have some tips and tricks and things that, that should make it a smoother experience. And the plan for the day is to get the front wheels on, that's the first step, and then we're going to do the rear suspension. And then we're going to try and also complete the steering system so that we can do the engine next episode uh, and we can end on electrics. We'll see. Uh, maybe we can do, because then we need to put in, you know, some the frame like doors and stuff. I have, once again, it, this changes. It might be my position here, but... It feels like I put myself right on the back and I aim where I did before. Okay. So that's what I need to remember. Fair enough. Ah. There we go. Stress is dealt with. Uh-huh. Let's turn that off and let's turn the thermostat down. 
We're already a little bit fatigued because we've been in a sauna. And we were awoken quite early on. Let's go. Okay, so it kind of takes like two in-game hours to get all that done, which it, that isn't terrible. It definitely takes longer to... Um, to um, chop firewood. P harder. Come on. There we go. Brilliant. I don't know if it's it's getting a little bit brighter. Eaten. We have eaten. But is it? It's still quite dark. I wonder if we can just take the tiniest of naps. If the fatigue is high enough. Yeah, so let's just nap a little bit. Let's just do a little bit of a nap. And it should be nice and bright out when we wake up. It's not. That's a little. Maybe we can get started, at least. Let's let's try. It's about just as dark. He really didn't sleep for long, did he? No, he didn't, because he slept like 30 minutes. What an idiot. Um... Well, let's um, let's push the car a little bit. That's not a good sound. Let's stop pushing. Well, I can kind of see what I'm doing now, so let's just... <clears throat> it's not super dark, so let's get in here and let's turn off the lights. Let's save as much electricity as we can. Oh, and by... Oh, right. I don't... I, I, this is... I'm going to do a, um, a cool move, but... Um, I noticed that some of my videos have been blocked in Denmark by a copyright claim. I hope the music that plays on this one isn't, um, you know... Uh, held by some evil corporation but let's see uh, if we can have some music while we build there we go all right let's hey now it's getting nice and bright let's start with some wheels let's get two nice big front wheels Expensive as all hell, but these will last us a good while, I hope. Ah, we're just going to have the car be like this for a bit. Let's get our spanner set. Spanners are important. Right there. All right. Yeah. Boink. Uh, and we need size 13. Oh, I thought this. All right. We need to go into tool mode, right? Span uh, 13. This has been quite a while since we built, right? So it's nice to get back into it. There we go. That's a wheel. <laughs> That's just not a great sound, but what are you going to do? And we'll attach it. A little bit more. There we go. All right, we have wheels. Wheel City. Um, I can't remember if I... Oh, no. I thought I could put the tool back somehow. Maybe not. Right, let's get the uh, 
Uh, there we go. That's. Can I? Floor jack. And we're gonna get the bottom up for the car. There we go. And hopefully it won't bug out. Doesn't look particularly stable. Yeah, sorry. Let's do that then. Far in. There we go. Let's level the car out. That seems to be the top. Okay, yes. Okay, uh, man, I should have pushed the car back further, but you saw it. It didn't really move. So uh, we need some trail arms. These trail arms. No, shock absorbers. There's a trail arm. Right. Rear, left, right. Okay, so left would be on this side. And that's not where I put it. Find it. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that, but as soon as when we get the wheels on, it's gonna be alright. Uh, it? It uh, somewhere on this side, right? Yeah, it's sitting there. There we go. And now we need some size 2, size 12 bolts somewhere on these things. There we go. Mm. There we go. There's the other one. That's in place. Let's get the next one. There we go. Perfect. Coil springs. Next, we had those. No, that was shock absorbers. These should be coil springs because they're coiled like springs. That should be here somewhere, right? There, there, there. I had it. I had it. You saw it. There we go. Uh, let's get the next one. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Just marvelous. Uh, and now we need a shock absorber. We found those, so let's do that. Install these vertically on the trail arm. Let's see if we can find. That looks like a good hole. Let's see if we can get into that hole. I don't know if things have to be spun around. But they think I think they should just click. Oh, let's try and find out where it is. But we can try and have them this way. We can do from above. Would that be easier if I just... Whoa! Ah! You saw it? Yeah, I saw it as well. Let's... See if we can. Oh, I had it. There, there. Right, it was that hole. It just was a little bit off. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. oh. Okay, so if I just get in here. Do what I did before and actually have it vertically, sort of. 
I had it, 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 I had it. So what's there? I think the attachment point may be... Ah, the face is itching. I, I did it, I was inside it, kind of, but then it bugged me out before I could press. not too bad okay now we install these from the trunk size 12 there it is it's stuck and to the trail arm with Size sixes, small things. That doesn't move good. There's one. And there's number two. Great. Now some drum breaks, so we can break. These are very rusty. I wonder how they will fare in inspection. No, it's not. There's a drum break. Hmm. Should be on. There we go. And let's get the other one while we just put both on, you know? Nothing nothing silly needed. There. Uh, size 14 breadth. Hmm, getting nice and bright. It's a nice summer activity, isn't it? There we go, and now just uh, get the last wheels, and then we finally have the car resting on wheels and not on its frame. Yeah. And this will be the big test, you know, to see if it actually stays in place now or if it will continue bouncing about. Uh -huh. yeah, I know where we are supposed to go, so please don't give me that. Well, there we go. Use the wheel physics. Uh, I also started playing some Ghost of Tsushima, and it's that game is just cool. It's samurai fantasy, feeling in a movie, doing cool katana moves and all kind of stuff. That's I can see myself enjoying this game very, very much. It has everything you need. All right. All right, we are on wheels. Let's release this and see what happens. If it actually lets me, there we go. I feel like this is great. Look at that. It has wheels. Our little babies coming to life. All right, we are gonna. Um, can start on the steering system. I just want to try this now. What happens when I push it? Uh oh, I pushed it too well. Please stop. Puh, that's that's dangerous. All right, we need a steering rack. This looks like a steering rack to me. Now oh, it's a steering column.
A fuel tank, that's probably good to have. Handbrake. Oh, sorry. Where's my steering rack? Dashboard. Um, oh, it's... I do love wiring mess. It's a good item. See, there's a lot of parts that we're gonna have to put in this car somehow. That's a steering rack. The sled is four size 19. What's that? Towing hook. Oh, that's cool. Can I do it from the inside, I think? Because this should be the part that... Not the towing hook. I want to install my steering column. Not steering column, steering rack. The column should be going here, so I think this should just be... Oh man, I should have had more pictures. I'm clearly not good enough for this. So I don't really know if it's, you know, so specific that it requires, you know, millimeter precision. But let's try and make it vertical again. Vertical is always good. So that's, you know, where the steering column is going to come out from. Oh boy. Where do you want to go? Do you want to... That's a towing hook. There we go. Look at that. We found it. I had some idea. Uh, size 9. Let's go. Four of them. Uh, put, oh, there. Those screws aren't so hidden. We can, we can find us quite easily. But there is a lot of rust in here. And there's one thing I know about vehicle inspection is that rust is not well liked. I've had cars that are mostly broken, but they, they're fine. Except like, oh, that part was a little bit rusty. It's like, well, darn it. Okay, that's one page done. Now, we're gonna put in some steering rods. Uh, these look like steering rods, don't they? Front right. Um, the horizontal between the center rod and the suspension column. Should probably go from this to the wheel somewhere, right? Yeah, like that. Oh, I had it. There we go. That also seems to be a thing they have patched out, so because they said it doesn't matter where you put the steering rod, even though it clearly says front right, front left. Um, so hopefully more things in this guide aren't broken. You know, that would that would be a shame if I electrocute myself. There we go. Find it. Good. Um, what do I have? I need a size 12. Fairly hidden. That's not too bad. But did you see the wheel there? It kind of clicked into place. Look. Uh, look what happens to the wheel. See? Everything kind of connects up. That's awesome. Um, okay. 
maybe I screwed up the entire rod and half shafts. I did put in the half shafts, didn't I? Steering rod. <coughs> No, I haven't installed any half shafts, have I? That's another thing I may have missed. That's probably bad. So, is there a half shaft somewhere? But it does feel like everything's kind of in their place, so they shouldn't be steering stuff somewhere else. I'm not gonna put a crankshaft in it, that's for sure. So these like look like mostly, you know, engine parts and, and and stuff like that, and you shouldn't really have steering stuff here. So maybe Oh that's it. I can start the rods and half shafts. Maybe that's what they call. So put the steering rods in. Because you can't see any half shafts around here, can you? you they kind of look like half shafts, the, uh, the steering rods. But why then say rods and there and half shafts? Was that something I perhaps put in before? It might be. I'm just going to do a. Hmm. I'm just going to sit in front of this radio for a second while I just. Quickly look at, um, that's what I was hoping I didn't have to do, but I don't want to, you know, um, I don't want to miss something in the steering, you know, that would be pretty stupid. No, I don't think I missed anything, it's just the way they they wrote it, so that's that's fine. <laughs> okay, well we're gonna put a steering column in, that's cool. And I heard that it makes sense to install this from the inside. There, yeah! Look at that! Two size eight screws. Yeah. Yeah. Um. That's what? There we go. The steering wheel does not need to be installed yet, but don't you kind of... Oh, let's just... Cool. That's actually it for the, the things we had today. Maybe that's just good enough. So that's been at it for 30 minutes, so... Looks like our character needs a little bit of a drink, and uh, let's go have a drink, and when we return, we will uh, start building the horrible part, the engine. So, uh, yeah. See you next time for Engine Time.